uh, these heroes between each other, so it becomes very much their classic. But coming out from Evos SG, this is a good chance for them to turn the tides. I think they actually have a pretty decent draft coming around this time, especially yeah. since they actually scale in towards this game. And most importantly, this farm is coming out of JPL as a support. I'm very excited to see how it works. Yeah. Well, it is time for game three. Will it be a clean sweep for Blacklist International or is it going to be Evos SG forcing a fourth game in the series? You can hear the crowd cheering and we are going to get straight into the game with JPL using the Faramis as a roamer. Yep. Interesting. They want to really run at Blacklist International. It's just uh, do or die now for, for Evos uh, SG and they want to fight constantly with the Roger, it just really makes total sense and of course you have the damage coming out and the control coming out from the Lugi then eventually you get this Hylos to join in on the fray I'm excited to see how this will work but at this, all the same, I'm scared for Evo's SG as Blacklist International all comfort oh. for their picks. Yeah, actually, Vice getting the retribution onto the little Wanderer will be able to take it for himself. JPL already going at it, but Gear in that top side is what he... Wait, Oheb in the XP lane, actually. Right. So they did this before uh, during MPL as well as MPLI. The idea is this Nathan naturally does not uh, fare against the Clint as Clint is a direct yep. counter in the laning stage against the Nathan. So the solution is put it in the X plane where we have the range advantage. Uh, and more importantly Smart. so that they can actually, you know, babysit him with the help of Oh My Venus once again coming in with just, you know, the stim packs to make sure he's always topped off. Gear can barely walk up. Yep. Oh my god, he's gonna get chunked really low. JPL rotates to the top side, but what is a Faramis supposed to do here? <laughs> I don't know, this, this is gonna be really tough for the side of Evo's SG to counter. I mean, technically right now, they might just even get dove on. Wise though, we'll just be there to zone away the members going in for the turrets as JPL will look to help to clear the waves, but still. Blacklist have already taken a 200 gold lead here in their first few minutes as Edward goes in for Adam here. That's a very risky play going for the gold minion. He will get it in the end, but at what cost? He needs to recall and Edward he has a flicker, he has a flicker. He has a flicker. Oh, he goes for it. The flicker play. And my lord. Adam, you're way too greedy on yep. that. No, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We are not going to be looking at that one. A massacre has happened down on that bottom side. And Turtle already being slayed by Blacklist International. The snowball continues. Oh, what a laning configuration coming out of Blacklist International. Not only that, even a good laning execution on their part as Oheb is really just bodying gear here at the top end with the Hylos. And, of course, the help of the hell of this uh, Estes. Now, bottom lane, you saw how Edward, or maybe you didn't see because of the fact that we didn't look at it, but again, it's too crazy to oh. look at. Haji going in for the Tyrant. Oh, actually, it's going to be able to connect right now. Potato's still able to run away. Deadly Catch being used to disengage from the fight. JPL caught very low. That Yin Yang overturn almost taking down Potato. But a very good disengage and a very good engage for the side of Blacklist. Oh, looks like the boss is giving a little too much respect here. They're falling into a lot of the pressure that Blacklist International is putting out. And Haji, he is taking full advantage that they're giving him that space and time to harass them basically for free. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of space, it's not looking good for side of Evo SG because uh, Blacklist International are eventually going to be controlling that second turtle, eventually going to get a push because they always look to make a play under the outer turret energy shields. I wonder what lane will they choose? Maybe the top lane because the Nathan is already there and uh, actually Bane is moving towards that route. Well, right now, again, Blacklist don't really need to do anything at this point. It's all on Evo's SG to make the plays happen on the map. Blacklist, they want to go for neutral objectives. They have been able to get it. And JPL now caught. Why is just going to go in instantly? But JPL trying to cut away so much damage placed. He still has a deadly catch. He can actually go for the kill here. Let's see if it happens. It's actually going to be Sela Ooh, coming in start. to help him with the rotations. Wise caught very low. Ooh. Haji trying to snipe JPL down will not be able to connect onto that one. Mm, I don't know whether... I, I can understand from Potato's perspective, perspective that a one-for-one one may not necessarily be beneficial, especially since Turtle is coming up. And more importantly, so the rest of the team coming in from Blacklist International could probably win that 4v4. Uh, 4v4, so... Keeping that in mind, that's why he didn't go for the initial like and pounce to maybe try to execute wise while he was low. All right, let's go. It's going to be the diversion all the way to the backside. Deadly catch, able to disengage from this fight, but uh -oh, it's going to be the altar popped in. Sela going in onto Edward. It's going to be taken very low, but again, the healing just so, so huge. Double kill picks up. They're going to go for Mordo. Venus is in the backside. Everyone's respawning, but at what cost right now? Why is he going to get taken down? Finally, as the fights will continue, Potato goes in onto Edward, but not enough damage. Look at the sustainability of this composition. They try to 
fight, but in the end, it was a four for one? Yeah, it was. Oh my goodness, Blacklist International played that so well. The way that they juggled and found the opening, they forced Evo SSG to form a, a, a mini bubble, and Blacklist International, because they're outside of that circle, Haji was able to find the good opening with the Yin Yang overturn, and then the damage was just way too much for Evo SSG to handle. Surely they got a kill after the Cult Altar, Red but that also meant the that they turtle. had to die just to you know, trade off against Blacklist International, which now translates into a 2,000 gold lead in favor of the Filipino team. Now we really understand why this Ferramus hasn't been a prior pick here in this tournament. It's, very, it's a very situational pickoff, and you can see why. Blacklist, with the disengage they have, they can just instantly dis just get out of that altar so easily. Yeah, I know. I think the most important thing so far is the fact is that whenever JPL is looking for these big engagements, overall, Edward, he's having a really, really fun time as long as he keeps in mind uh, that he can just buy that extra bit of space for the team with the knock-up strikes. And it's like, yes, you know, life after death, big deal, double jab, and I'm already out there. Oh my god, look at Ohem. He might be going for the kill right now. He's gonna go under the turret. Let's see if it's time to connect. Oh, it's not actually oh, Ohem. Done. What is this? Potato going in for the like and bounce. We'll be able to get it down. It's gonna be Venus in a 1v3 situation. Flickers away, and that's a misplay by Potato. But look at Wise in a 1v2. Oh my oh. god! Wise with the triple kill! What was that? Oh, the instant oh, replay oh, coming oh. in. Let's see what happened in that fight. Oh, oh my no. god. Adamir with a good, great stun, and then of course, Potato getting that kill. JPL just dealing the damage as well, but Wise. Look at the coverage, just with the Deadly Cash pinning down two members of EVO's SG and then just dealing the AoE damage courtesy of the passive. And guess what? He also gets two key, two turrets. Yeah, and the like wow. pounce just went onto the wave instead of Estes. I think that was the big, big misplay there because had he got that killing spree off, it would have looked a little different. Maybe it would have been a triple kill. A double kill was ensued, but they would have made all the difference right there and then. Oh man, I think they've done it. 4,000 gold lead <laughs> from game number one, game number two, game number three. Every time they get a lead, it is over. Let's see if they can still force this right now. Evo's SG, they are going to be desperate coming into this third turtle. Blacklist with full control. Look at the level difference. Two levels ahead, wise. Yeah, I want to say that Bane is a hero from the jungle role that is always on the two extremes, but look at... Alright, let's see gear going oh, in. And the damage actually is going to be Evo's SG turning the tables once more. What is going on? 3,000 gold lead now for the side of Blacklist. They are going to still try to go for it. JPL zoning away the members. Deadly catch and disengage from the fight. Sayla. Oh! oh! The rotation will take him down. JPL going to go in. Edward Balboa is going to be here in a 1v4 situation. Still able to make, get under the turret. Potato goes in, not having the like and bounce, but Blacklist, wow. they've lost the fight. Evos wow. are in it. They're in it to win it. Now they've been backed into the corner and now they say hello. Blade of Despair being purchased by Wise, but the interaction, JPL pulls them in and Sayla just collapses down with the huge yin yang reaction. That's so cool. That's so cool to watch. I see Evos SG, they the position turtle. themselves using this glorious pathway, eventually just um, wrapping around Blacklist International. And for sure, Blacklist International did not expect that. Sayla was on point, and by the way, I would like to commend his itemization, going for the Durants as soon as possible so that they can stop this snowball coming out from Ova and Venus's heels. And that's what you wanted from the Ferris pick. It came through, man. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens here. The 4,000 gold lead that I mentioned, now only the... Whoa, wait a minute. Diversion. Like my oh. Evo's SG, they might be looking for Haji? Oh, the Haji right now, oh. they're gonna go in, collapsing onto Haji, not anything mi Oh my god, beautiful flame shot to get him out of the way. Wise now going in for the engage, deadly catch available, not gonna use it just yet. Gear will pop in the glorious pathway, but Adamir is gonna get taken down. Ohem looking for more, double kill for Ohem. The Filipino sniper going ham in the backside, Edward coming in, going in for the knockoffs right onto Gear, is gonna get taken down. A triple oh. kill for Ohem. This is all this, it is all blacklist oh. at this moment right now. Taking a tier two Blue on the way as well, destroyed. building up back to that 4,000 gold lead. Let's see what it did, where this goes. JPL pops into altar, trying to defend right now. It's gonna be him taking very low, take him down. Mega kill picked up. JPL still looking to defend, will be able to buy the time, but 4,000 gold lead is back to where it started. Ooh.
Yep, it is. And honestly, a ah, really big misplay coming in for uh, big, big misplay coming in from Adam here. He didn't notice what was happening behind him, and more importantly, oh my Venus as well as Oheb just walking up yep. from Riverside. He should have known and quickly used the recall to get over the wall and make it way uh, make his way out of that fight. But well, unfortunately, this is the situation. However, I will say the JPL making a smart decision, giving up his life most Blue importantly to clear that mid wave to protect that inhibitor because Blacklist had more than enough damage to actually muscle their way in. I'm gonna have to give it to Haji though. He was yeah. able to just dodge the entire um, play coming up from Evo's SG with this diversion, with the diversion play of Evo's SG. He just literally just jumped away from Evo's SG. And at that point, Evo's SG was way too overcommitted and Blacklist International was able to just punish. And Wise as well as Oheb, if they combine together their bursts, Evo's SG's heroes will definitely melt. Now Blacklist International making a move on the Lord. Edward spots this out. Wait a oh. minute, that's a four-man no. dive. Oh, here's a diversion connecting onto it. Brian Yang overturned. Haji goes in for the combo. Wombo able to get the damage done. But JPL, he pops the outturn. This is where Evo's SG needs to fight on. But look at Wise. Deadly oh. catch. A double kill for Oheb. As it's only two members left standing for Evo's SG. The Tigers, they have nowhere to go. Edward Balboa will take him down. Oheb with another triple kill. Blacklist. International controlling the game, getting the maniac for Oheb, the Filipino sniper with the guns. He does it again. He does it again. But Blacklist International, the moment they spotted out the diversion, they set up the trap wise in the flanks to make it work. And two inhibitor turrets for their transgression. Oh man. Uh, snap. Blacklist International turns it around. That was definitely a bad decision from Evo Sessi going for the diversion play even when they already saw Edwards. Edwards literally on top destroyed. of the diversion and the Black Evo's SG did not respect that. For sure, they're kind of planning to go for a big burst onto Edward, but Blacklist International, as Gideon have said, they have prepared their trap. That flank from Weiss was so massive. It's a desperate play from Evo's SG. As you can see, the map control is not... There's nothing left for Evo's SG. As much as I... like, That was a... That was an okay play, considering the, the spot they were in. You know, they need those crazy fights to happen. If not, they're just gonna get suffocated. Yeah, and I think at this point, like, for Evil's SG, if they want to survive, Sela needs to get his third item, and it needs to be a big one, because he bought two utility, one Enchanted Talisman to sustain as a second item, and the Necklace of Durant's just because of Oh My Venus, it slows down his power spike. All right, let's see another fight commences here. Gear goes in, it's gonna be a lot of damage placed. Lord has been slain by the side of Wise, it's now it's gonna be the altar placed inside of it. Let's see what happens here. It's gonna be a one for one right now. Okay. Everything popped in, and okay. actually Evil's going and winning the fight! A three for six! Zero. What the heck? Technically not a three or zero, but I'm gonna say it because of the ultra. All right, <laughs> it's <laughs> worth it. It's worth it. But Sela, he's in trouble. He's trying to get on out of there, but Edward won't let oh, him go. Oh, the no. style coming in, Edward. He doesn't want to end it, but he. Oh, Winter Truncheon actually maybe able to outplay. No, no, no. Sela, 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 still able to dodge away for now. Haji will pick him up. JPL, the only member left here to go against Blacklist International. One Enhanced Lord is going to be going, marching into the base. But I feel like Evo says she can defend this. You see why he just popped the Winter Truncheon and Blacklist International already was able to buy so much time. Although Evo says she gets four, that you know, required them to actually tie in front of Blacklist International. Still a massive play coming up from Evo SG, and that meant that they will not lose just yet. Oh man, at this point, I, I really don't know. I, I, like, EOS SG, they are getting the fights done, but they're losing the same amount of members. Three for three, two for two, it's always one for one. And at this point, the map pressure is all controlled by Blacklist. If they only... They need to look for a wipeout. That's what I'm trying to say. If they don't get anything except the wipeout, they're yeah. not going to be able to get objectives on the board. Well, here's the thing. In a lot of these situations, especially when you are behind, trading 50-50 up against the team who is ahead in gold is actually quite beneficial because technically the team with the lead is thinking this bigger shutdown goal is going to be on their side. And that just means that Evo's SG is actually climbing back ever so slightly when it comes down to that gold lead, especially for their members like Potato, yeah. for example, who is ready to actually go and deal some real damage. The question is, is whether Sela can 
can actually get up to that third, or you know, arguably the fourth item in this yep. in this case. He needs that Holy Crystal. He needs just the overall massive damage that, that oh. he's missing out because of his two utility items. Yeah, I agree with you because Blacklist International, they will survive oh if they are bursted down. So that's just really the, the nature of the Estes, right? If you don't take down a hero from 100 to 0 in a snap, his uh, sustainability is just way too good. At this point, the Durans coming out from EVO's SG will not be enough against the sustain that All My Venus can give. However, it does buy a little bit, as much as a 1.5 seconds when it comes down to topping somebody off the full HP. Oh my god, Oheb just so good on this at time. By the way, fun fact, he was 0-3 before that triple kill. Well, that's a good point. He's 0-2. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. He went from 0-2 to 8-3. and three. Yeah, back-to-back -back triple kills and the followed up by a maniac. I mean, the triple kill turn eventually turned into a maniac. Who knows what might happen here as Blacklist International looks like they're trying to siege the bottom lane. They're looking for the killing blow here. They're looking to create that advantage and also open up this inhibitor. And I'm not sure if Evo says she can afford to sacrifice anybody for it this time. Uh, at this point, they don't have anyone. They don't have anyone that can lock down the members of Blacklist International. Blacklist, they're they're not forced to stay in the altar. You know. I They've been getting the good fights, EVOS SG, in these neutral objectives because they had their, the Lord is there. But if in the base, Blacklist can just disengage for a while, wait for the altar to disappear, and go back in. Kind of makes me think why EVOS SG is not making the, the place just yet. They still have the diversion. Maybe because they are getting pushed down by Blacklist International. They don't want to really engage against the Blacklist International. Maybe they're also waiting for the second Lord, or the, actually, the, yeah, the second Lord in this game. To make that diversion play, it seems like they're prepping up now. JPL spotting this out, has to be careful, although he is a fire miss. So, might be going for that. And Adamir now finally picks up the, the Fury. Maybe some damage can come out of this Gold Daner. He has to keep himself alive though, as Blacklist knows how to get into I mean, it's. I'm, I can't even say that the peel is e is even that great when it comes down to a front to front from Evo SG because Potato needs to somehow get into that backline, and the only people who can really open up the map is going to be Gear and JPL. And JPL, it's on condition, so Gear generally has to do it because it's the diversion and conceal play. All right, let's see what they can do with it. Nothing, no pressure on the map. That's the thing, you know. They they go for a diversion play, but at this point. Blacklist International, they have full control of the map because of the setup that they, they, they did on the waves. Look at the waves. It's always on the side of Blacklist International. With this, it's just so hard for Evo's man. SG to do anything on the map, even with these surprise picks, even with the surprise diversions. As Blacklist oh, are going to be the ones with that push. Oh. Edward and Haji, this is perfect. Edward did not leave the bush. Oh, All right, let's see. Diversion again. to the backside. Haji, Haji is not going to be able to get anything done here. It's going to be Evo's SG. Caught in the bad situation. Oh, Haji goes in. Sayla gets picked off right before the fight even starts. Potato now going for the Lord, will he be able to get it? It's gonna be the Lord picked up by the side of Edward. And look at this, Evo says he getting completely wiped, but they are gonna get some kills on the board. Now Oham in a 1v3 situation, still able to flicker away and get some damage done. Haji coming in, and that is only gear left. JPL left, my bad. Blacklist, they're looking for the end right now. JPL gonna try to do what he can, but in the end, it is a clean sweep. Another 6-0 day for the Filipinos. What a dominant performance. And with that being said, that's going to be another team bowing out from the tournament. Congratulations to Blacklist International to move on to the next stage. But our honorable hosts here with EVOS SG, they'll have to say goodbye. They played great. They played great. They have prepared against the Blacklist International. What I love about what they did in this series, even though they lost, was they bring that was them bringing out something against Blacklist International. They have planned against the Filipino team. They have planned to break the code. However, it wasn't enough as the members of Blacklist International just stayed true to their identity and defeated the host country. Oh, it's a tough one for Evo SG. It really is a tough one right now. Unable to keep that M3 trophy here in Singapore, but look at that, to the top, Blacklist, break the code. This team, I've said it so many times, so dominant for the entire year, getting knocked down to the lower brackets. Everyone expected this team to choke, but no, they prove everyone wrong once again. They've made it to the lower bracket finals on the way to the grand finals. Look at that, Agent Stan Proud, it's time to take a look at the analysts. 
take a look and hopefully take a listen. Thank you so much to the casters, Mirko, Wolf, and Gideon Q at your service. My name is Leo, joined here by LaFell, and Wolf put it right. Evo SG actually planned, and they put that plan into action. We saw so many new cards from them. Yeah, but anyways, I do have to say, from the bottom of my heart, I'm not just me, I feel like everyone here as well is very proud of the run that EVOS SG has run. Like, this is the strongest that I've personally ever seen them, and um, I hope they keep persistent, especially for Sela and Gear. They have a very bright future in the sports. Yep, specifically um, the Boy Wonder Gear. I, I love how he's grown throughout the tournament alone, 